Good morning. Uh, it is <clears throat> May 31st, 7.58 a.m. Um, hello. Uh, I just really wanted to make this video to kind of share my inspiration and kind of my thoughts right now in hopes to kind of spark what I felt while on this journey of self-actualization that I've seen. Um, and yeah, I just really want people to feel the way that I feel, or at least learn something from my experiences from the self-growth or whatever. I don't know, I'm not trying to sound fucking corny, like, I'm just like literally going off the top of my head, but... <laughs> I hope that by sharing this, people can learn something and, like, I can learn something for myself re-watching this or, like, just even doing this. Maybe I won't even fucking post this. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm, like, trying to fucking talk to myself, like, the camera punched on my back, but I'm currently at my grandma's house in the backyard and the birds are chirping, but, uh, yeah. I came to a realization that, like, just being in the present is really, like, so liberating. Like, everything really doesn't fucking matter in the long scale. I mean, like, of course it does, but if you're living right here, right now, and aligning with what you want to do, bettering yourself and your experiences, and learning from others. I should make sure it doesn't die. Like, that's all that really matters. As long as you're having this positive impact on yourself for the long term and short term, like, like these long term gains that you do for yourself will give you short-term, like, wins, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, just being here right now and getting rid of all this, like, material bullshit of fucking so social, the social scape, jobs, Just opinions other people have on you and like all that shit other pe people's opinions on you don't fucking matter because you know what that's one little blip in time that they're thinking in their head and it doesn't matter like how is it affecting you the only thing that you really live with and that you can hold true to yourself is your own perception of your reality and your perception of yourself thing that is constant throughout everyone's lives is their own thoughts, not thoughts, their own values and things that they ho hold true. So say if there was an outward opinion about say someone at work that they held against me that I probably assumed to be true or they didn't like me or some shit because like blah, blah, blah. that doesn't fucking matter like why am I gonna hold that as a pressure against me when that's literally only their blip in time and if it is true that they're holding a negative perception of me that's only hurting them having a negative perception of me because like what do they gain from having this negative perception like like, maybe, like, a social hierarchy, but that shit doesn't even matter. Because in the scheme of things, we're all trying to better each other and better ourselves. So by holding this social hierarchy where we kind of put others down to bring ourselves up, it doesn't really make sense because it's just going to hold up the whole line of, like, progression. Like, you know what I'm just saying? <clears throat> Anyways, more of what I'm trying to say, 
I feel like as a collective be doing the shit that we want to do rather than what other people want to do. I feel like this past year I haven't really been staying as true to myself with my actions but rather like people pleasing like I'm just like in a sense um I feel like in part I do feel like it's accounted to some big life events and traumas that I've recently but I do have some shit that I can account for it but also it's my responsibility to take accountability and I kind of feel like I've been pushing it off by trying to get this external validation from other people and not necessarily following in my own footsteps and that's caused friction with like my own values and how I sit with myself because recently I just feel like I've been like trudging through life I'm just like I don't know it's weird but I'm like trying to reground myself I'm regrounding myself now and recentering my values and doing shit that I want to do and like yeah it's kind of scary feels scary and that's okay like doing shit that feels scary is okay because that's a feeling that's gonna pass and I don't give a fuck about like the external validation because shit don't matter shit, don't, shit, shit really don't matter and it shouldn't matter to you either like fuck it um, but definitely core, like regarding the core. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, just doing the shit that you want to do is literally food for the soul. It's literally nourishing you, nourishing people around you as you uplift yourself and you start to have this glow and this radiant energy that's pretty what's the word not viral pretty contagious to other people because as soon as you start glowing and aligning with yourself and acting and uh, acting and taking action in yourself other people will start to see it and they'll follow along as oh shit like i could do that too like being genuine and being here and hard working and bettering yourself will prove to others and show others that it's possible and lift everyone is genuinely like seen it and I'm grateful for the people I've had in my life and grateful for the people just grateful for everything like the people that have uplifted me and the people that have shown friction towards my values like it's all learning like there's no negative to it I guess there's always something to learn but yeah well I've been talking for 80 minutes like, I haven't been doing as much art as I wanted to this past year and have dropped doing my podcast, which I will definitely bring that one back up. Um, but, like, I don't, like, it, it shouldn't even matter about, like, what people think about what I do. It's rather, I do what I want to do and people can take what they want out of what I provide or what I output and that's okay like whether you take something positive or negative that's on you but I get as much out of it putting it out there as one may gain from it and that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um but yeah I'm like I don't know this is events little journal session journal session uh yeah 
Also, I just feel like people should be more, people in general should start talking to random people more. Or just being like, like, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, so I recently just quit Starbucks actually. Um, and that is the one thing, like, oh my God. That's the biggest thing I'm gonna miss about that job is like the people to people interaction that I have at that job because oh my god just like messing around and just like shooting the shit with people and just like giggling i'd be like Boom! or like that or just like asking them what's up and stuff like with my coworkers or like the regulars or just like even random people like i could see how much it would light people up and shit and i'll just be like oh my god and like i don't know it's contagious like you really have the power to make a change like corny shit or no corny shit you take whatever um like a positive impact in the world is like compounding like that one positive interaction can go to another positive interaction yada 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 like it's literally a domino effect and so it's like but yeah, um, if I come up with more things to say, because my mind is kind of running blank right now, um, yeah, well, thank you for listening or not listening, um, yeah, I see a bird, but thank you, I love you so much. hydrated and water uh and take care until the next time i talk uh yeah and also go learn something or be here i know i love you uh stay swell and stay hydrated Adoses! oh my god i'm trying to find my cursor